everybody, it's K-Ball here from Zurb. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to submit a building block to the new Foundation Building Block site. If you haven't already watched it, check out our previous video on how to create a building block. Submitting a building block is as easy as submitting a pull request on GitHub, but we're gonna talk through a little bit more, what makes for a good building block and what makes it most likely that your building block will be accepted. Let's get to it. Now, let's get into how you submit a building block. For this, uh, tutorial, we're going to use the building block that we created in the how to build a building block video. Um, so we're going to use this new Yeti card that we put together. Um, and if you, in case you don't remember, it was really simple. Uh, we had a Yeti card class with just a max width on it. It's using the foundation uh, card containers, so it's you know not doing anything complicated. It has a Yeti uh, JavaScript where you click on this thing, you get an alert. Nothing big. Assuming this was a valuable building block, how would I submit it? So all of these submissions are running through GitHub pull requests. If you're not familiar with GitHub pull requests, there's some great resources out there. I'm not gonna walk through that in great detail right now, um, but we can uh, include a couple of links. Um, in fact, we'll put a, a couple of links on here for where you might find that. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go check out this building blocks repo and we're going to mer or fork it. Uh, so I'm gonna fork this into my personal account. And this is where I'm gonna submit the pull request from this personal account. I'm gonna look at our code. Our code is currently in place under new Yeti card, um, source building blocks, new Yeti card. I hadn't actually committed it. So I'm gonna first add these as a commit. Uh, we'll create a sample uh, building block. Your commit name should actually be quite descriptive of what this thing is. Uh, we've already put our description in here with YAML. Um, if I had cloned from my uh, my repository originally, I wouldn't have to do this, but I'm going to add this as a remote. So I'm going to git add remote uh, personal. Oops. How does it go? Git remote add personal this. So if I look at my get remotes, I've got personal. Uh, I'll push this up uh, to here. And what I'll see on GitHub, once I've pushed that branch, is you get this nice little thing saying, hey, you have a branch. Uh, do you want to do a compare and pull request? So I'm going to set up a pull request, take a look at it. Let's make sure, looking through this, do I have everything? I've got my HTML, I've got my JavaScript, I've got my SAS, I've got my YAML. There is actually one thing that I'm missing before I can really submit this as a request that can be accepted. Um, I need a thumbnail for it. And that thumbnail is used to display over here in as I'm looking through. And if I were to actually look at where this thing is living right now, um, it doesn't have a thumbnail. So before I can fully get this thing merged, I'll need to create a thumbnail. Uh, now this is something that we can help out with if you are uh, don't have any design tools, uh, but let's just really quickly look at what that might look like. So uh, for a thumbnail, uh, we have these, uh, we're basically gonna put things on a gray background. Uh, we're using the size 770 width, 510 height. Um, so try to hit that. Uh, you can see that on any of the thumbnail images that are in there. Uh, and we're using a rec uh, gray background here. Uh, you can see it's, 230, 232, 235. Uh, you don't have to exactly match this, but we might be a little sad if you look a lot different. So not every uh, building block thumb is exactly the same, but they all follow the same general convention. So what I'm gonna do to get that is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna grab a screenshot of my card. And I'm using Sketch to do this, but you can use any sort of screenshotting tool that you want. I'm gonna take that screenshot drop it in here. Doesn't look great having the gray on gray background. Um, so I might change that. I might embed this a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it for this demo, but generally you want this to look visually nice, give it a very you know good foot forward for your building block. Um, I'm gonna put a little drop shadow on it. So, you know, do a big blur, but then make it pretty transparent. This is what we've been doing for our um, building blocks is we'll put a Drop shadow on it, 11% opacity, uh, but, and uh, 3Y, 50 blur. Take this thing, artboard, I'm gonna export it um, to 
my new Yeti card. Where's my new Yeti card? Oh, this is not in my demo folder. This is my old folder. So if I go um, back into Git, go into Demos, Building Blocks. Uh, all right, here we go. So source, building blocks. My new Yeti card should be in here. Here it is. And I'm going to name it uh, as new Yeti card as well. So once again, all the names are matching. Um, for now, we are doing all this as PNGs. Um, so make a new Yeti card or whatever your component name is, PNG. Got it in there. It automatically updates once it's in there. And we should see now if we go to the end here, look, our thumbnail's already in there. So that's the last step we need in order to be ready to submit. Um, I'm gonna add that and then, so add a thumb, push that up uh, once again to my personal branch so that I can create it as a pull request. Once that's up there, um, I can actually just reload this page and it should be there as a second commit. All right, so then in order to submit this as a uh, pull request, you just add, okay, new Yeti card, um, you know, a demonstration building block, and we will create a pull request. And then I, or one of the other maintainers of the building blocks, would actually come back to the Zurb building blocks. We would see these pull requests. Here it is. I would look in here, look at the files changed, and start giving you a review. Now I can tell you a couple of things that I would review on this, uh, you know, on our sample. One, I'd say something like, you know, what is this? This is a weird JavaScript piece. You know, this is probably not the type of thing that we'd want to include, uh, something that's doing bad practices like a, a loud alert, things like that. A couple other things uh, to note is all of your SAS, all of your classes and styles should be scoped by the name of the building block. Uh, so we actually have uh, an issue here, which I'm calling it new Yeti card. This should probably say class equals, you know, new Yeti card, not Yeti card, to, just to match. Um, any sort of styling we do inside of it, if we were to style, for example, the card divider class, that's a core foundation class. Uh, we wouldn't want to have the building block style that flat. You could style it inside, scoped by the outer class name. The core idea here is these building blocks need to be plug and play with other elements in your system. So any sort of styling and any sort of JavaScript that you're doing in here should ideally be scoped to the building block itself in such a way that if I install multiple of these, I'm not gonna have collisions, I'm not gonna be breaking existing code, um, and I can just plug and play as many building blocks as I want without any problems. Um, other things that we might do to get a better chance of success, uh, author should probably include some of your social profiles. It should include GitHub, foundation forum ID, Twitter profile, things like that. Um, we already have this in a category, description, be good to be a little bit more descriptive than this. You know, all these things are gonna to contribute to your getting a building block accepted. Uh, now, don't worry if you don't have this all figured out, right? You put something together, you submit it on a pull request, you can say, you know, on a comment or in the open, not sure if this is ready, can you help me out? And we will jump in there and help you get this thing across the line. But, um, you know, that's really it. You know, coming in here, I closed it because this one is actually a demonstration for this video. We're not actually gonna merge our, our silly new Yeti card, uh, but it's as easy as that. You know, This is the same as, as submitting anything into foundation. It's the same as submitting it to any open source repo. Uh, you just submit it as a pull request. All right, so now you've seen how easy it is to submit a building block and you've learned about what types of things we're looking for and what makes for a good one. The next thing is for you to engage your creative juices and get your building block in. I can't wait to see what it is you have to offer, so get to it and I'll see you on GitHub.